Maura Mant, longtime friend also, joining me here on The Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Maura? Hi. Hi, Rich. Thanks for having me. Of course. I, I, I definitely wanted to have you on because, uh, obviously, this speech, and you were, you know, an inter, you're an integral part of the ESPYs, and, and I, just walk me through um, your, your experience of, of, of telling Stewart that the, the Jimmy V Award was going to be his at this year's ESPYs, Maura. Um, well, you know, as we talked earlier, you know, the, the, the conversations are always ongoing throughout the year of, of who the right person to honor with that award is. And the, the conversation about Stu started, um, you know, about uh, probably after, after Super Bowl last year. You know, the, 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 the manner in which he'd been fighting this disease for, for many years was remarkable to, to those of us who knew him. And He'd been so involved in the V Foundation and really an inspiration to, to so many people. I think I first, you know, really saw it on Twitter when, um, you know, he didn't join Twitter very long ago. Um, but that's what he used it for. He used it to inspire people and to personally connect with people. And, and, and so that, that's, you know, his name was mentioned. And uh, to John Skipper's credit, um, you know, even though Stewart was, was ESPN and it was like, oh well, is this going to look like we're, you know, we're patting ESPN or someone on ESPN on the back? He, he was the story. He was the the, the, the most shining light in in, in fighting that disease. So uh, when the decision was made, you know, I wanted to be the one to tell him, um, and that's normally part of my job, you know, is to just to tell the person who is being honored. But it, it, it had significance. Different, you know, different significance with Stewart because, of course, I knew him and was close with him. And so I, you know, texted him and said, you know, trying to reach him, and he was busy and, you know, running around doing doing NBA. And it was near the fine, it was you know near the playoffs. So I said, yeah, you got to call me. I have something really important to tell you. So he's like, all right, I'll call me at night. And I said, Stu, you know, you've been chosen as the winner for the V award. Mm. And there was a silence, and I said, Stu, did I lose you? Are you there? <laughs> you know, Stu, like he's the one that's talking. And it went about, like, 30 seconds, and there was nothing. And I was, like, convinced I lost him. And then I said, Stu. And he said, no, I'm, I'm here. He's like, I'm just, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. Huh. And uh, that's probably one of the, you know, first times yes, that right. anyone that knew Stuart Scott. <laughs> right. That he was speechless. It really meant a great deal. So we, you know, we talked about. He said, well, I, "I need to process this, and I need to get back to you." And and I said, "All right, well, just you know, call me tomorrow, and we'll talk about the process and what we do from here." Um, and uh, the next morning, you know, I got I got a long a long text from him, just how you know how much it meant. And his first reaction was that I'm not worthy. You know, that's true. Like I, I I'm right. there's so many people that are fighting this disease, and I'm not. I'm not doing anything that anyone else isn't doing. But then he realized, I think, the power that he could have in, in, in helping to put a positive light on those who are surviving, you know, and that's really, you know, what the way that living with cancer. Um, and he lived with it for, for many years. So it wasn't long after that that, you know, I started getting emails of the speech and it had, you know, in the way that Stu would write things, you know, the dots. Yeah, like 12, 15, 20 dots in a row. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 20 dots in a row. And, and that yeah. speech was, was all him. I mean, it had a lot of iterations over the, over the course of time. And I think the first, the first speech he said, it, it, it thanked every person that he knew. And, and, and that's what he wanted to do. And it's like, you're always in a very weird position trying to tell someone, okay, well, you got to kind of not thank everyone. Let's figure out how to, but, you know, it, it really was his. And then, you know, we shot with him. He was going through the clinical trial at the time. And he was very, very private um, about what he was going through. And, and I, we had the conversation that this is something that, you know, I had to ask him to trust me to let, him, to let us in. Mm -hmm. And there were two producers on the piece that really were instrumental, Brian Brown and, and John Hirsch, that really earned his trust and, and you know, we were with him when he learned he was getting into that trial. But, oh, my goodness. You know, the process from April until July, he went through a lot, um, a, a lot of fighting just to get to the ESPYs, um, which I don't know that people realized before he got on that stage really what it took to get him there. 
Well, and, and in that regard, Maura, I mean, he just nailed it. We, we you know, we, we, you knew you, he would. We all, we all knew he would. He, he always lives up to the moment. I, I've got about 90 seconds left before we're, we're done with the segment. How did you choose Kiefer Sutherland to be the one to introduce him? Maura. That was that was Stuart. I mean, hit 24 was his favorite show. He was in the hospital, as everyone knows, um, you know, prior to coming out. And I have this great photo of him in the hospital watching the finale of 24. But he asked for Kiefer. You know, he said um, that that would be the greatest thing in the world. And Kiefer immediately said, I'll be there, you know, and, and there was no question. He arranged the schedule to be there. And have Jack Bauer introduce him. That's to so have Stuart. Jack Bauer introduce that him. That is so Stu. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Well, more listen, um, I, 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 you know, that speech is, means so much to so many people. And, you know, you making that happen is definitely one of the crowning achievements of your career that's still. Oh, my God. Forward. I didn't make anything happen. No, listen, you Maura, you could be. You could Believe be, me, please. And, and, and. You're part of I it. As I said, it, it was a great honor, but the greater honor in my life was being his friend and, and knowing him. Um, and and him that. Him, That's the greatest honor. And him calling you M squared. M squared. No one else will ever call me that again. Yeah. <laughs> Maura, thanks for taking the time. We'll see you in Arizona for the, another, I'm sure, great NFL honor. Seth Myers is hosting that, right, this year? Yeah, it should be great. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. You bet. We look forward to that. Thanks, thanks for calling in, Maura. You take care. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. You bet. That's Maura, man. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.